Hello and welcome. My name is Tara and I'm going to be talking about anger. Grr. Now we've all felt anger. I mean, we're human. I just uploaded a podcast titled Anger, where I go into the many different aspects of this emotional trigger that we have within ourselves, this trigger that comes up that we can instantly flare up into anger that can really impact ourselves internally or can also influence our actions. Now, remember, everything is energy. And if we are angry, other people will feel it in some kind of way, directly or indirectly. Directly meaning if we end up snapping at someone, if we say something out of haste, out of our emotional state, um, if we act upon something, if we do something maybe a bit destructive towards other people, towards outside world, or even within ourselves. And it is very uh, common to fall under the trigger response of anger. And anger can come in very fast. It can come in all of a sudden, and it may be a very unconscious way of reacting to situations. Now, when triggers do come up, when triggers are activated, it is an unconscious action that we have, mechanism that we have within ourselves. And those unconscious actions and mechanisms that we have within ourselves come from our shadow, come from unresolved traumas or wounds that we have deep within. And the anger is energy right so when the anger is triggered as i mentioned it can it can go outwardly it can affect other people but it can also be inwardly and affect our body now according to dr michael j lincoln former clinical psychologist who wrote the messages from the body and other bodies of work that help us understand our subconscious he states that anger comes from experiencing obstacles that we can't overcome and the resulting impasse ends up in our turning from seeking to remove the obstacle to attacking other people, the environment, and the universe. This tends to lead to conditions that emphasize infections, boils, fevers, and inflammations. In my podcast, I talked about my own personal experience dealing with anger. Anger has been my go-to emotional trigger that can surface at any moment, even if I'm just at home by myself thinking about something from the past, it ve very rarely happens anymore, but sometimes it will happen out of the blue. Now, I find that when I'm going through an emotional shift or release um, of some kind that, again, may be unexpected, the anger will definitely play into it. So there's really not much from my past that I hold on to anymore, maybe a couple of little tiny things that end up surfacing. When this comes up, it's really important to observe. It's okay to be angry. Angry. It's okay to feel these emotions, but be able to work out of it as quickly as possible. Be able to release it even in, in a healthy way through constructive techniques such as maybe breath work or yoga or going for a walk or going to the gym or just simply letting it go, not feeding into the emotion. Because remember, emotions can be very addictive. Our thoughts also trigger our emotions. Our emotions inspire actions. So the actions, like I said, are outwardly, the words that we say, the actions that we take. Um, we might even make decisions in haste that aren't very wise or aren't very well thought through. Um, the ego also could come in and override the experience, or we may go inward and harm our body through addictions or um, even just holding onto it energetically, which is really, really hard on the body. And as I mentioned in my podcast, my own personal experience, and you'll have to listen to the podcast for the full story, but Years ago, I had a business partnership with, with a business partner that went sideways. It was a really, really unhealthy situation. There was gaslighting, there was narcissism, there was all sorts of stuff. And I got completely, completely taken for a ride. I lost a lot through the situation and it was one of those really hard lessons. But during the situation, when everything was going down and when I was feeling completely helpless, there was nothing I could really do about the situation. And I was really taken advantage of. And during that time, I wanted to make things right. I wanted to fix the situation. I wanted to stand up for myself. I wanted the situation to be resolved, but it wasn't going to. And so because of the situation, thus being the obstacle, as Michael J. Lincoln has referred to, the obstacle couldn't be removed, right? So that is, when you think of anger, it usually comes comes in when we're facing something, when we're up against a wall or when we're up against an obstacle that we can't resolve it and we can't 
uh, overcome it in some form. It could be a person, it could be um, a, a situation, it could be something physical, um, but it usually comes in when we're faced something that we can't work through, but we can work through it through love. We can work through these situations through emotional intelligence, through calmness, through compassion, through empathy, through understanding. But our emotional trigger is going to come up first because of our old wounds and our traumas that we have buried within our subconscious. So anger is a very, very, um, it's a very prevalent uh, reaction here in humanity, in our world. And anger is the source of a lot of broken, ties and connections within humanity and anger is really what is perpetuating a lot of problems in this world and even on our within ourselves on an individual level with relationships how again we treat our body and so going back to my story when i was in this particular situation that i referenced i went inward and i went into complete self-destructive mode i had so much inflammation within my body my whole upper body broke out in a rash and i couldn't get rid of it i tried everything i was told to try certain ointments and creams and solutions nothing worked nothing worked and i was so self-conscious but i knew i was doing it to myself i didn't have the tools and i didn't know how to properly uh, resolve it I didn't know how to calm my system down. I was living in a perpetual state that was out of control. It was really out of control and very difficult to manage. So now I know, now I have the tools. And as soon as I packed up, if you know my story of what happened over the last three to four years now, I packed up my things, put them in storage, moved, went to my mother's property and just took a massive time out. And then my body relaxed, everything subsided and my skin got so much better. And that's when it cured. That's when it healed because my internal system was calm and I had let go of all the anger and resentment. And also too, a lot of the deeper stuff took time for it to cycle out. I've done a lot of deep subconscious work, really going into the shadow, really going on to old wounds and traumas that have been stored within and letting them go. And it's a process of layer after layer layer after layer. But the more work that we do of this release work, or even just self awareness, the more that we that we are aware, the more conscious we are around ourselves around our feelings around our actions, what we say, the greater change we will have and no, it's not overnight. I mean, this has taken me myself coming from severe anger, raging, raging anger to three years and now it comes up very periodically when it comes up it's pretty strong i'm not going to lie it is pretty strong but it's very seldom now and i'm very aware and i can work out of it very quickly so there's nothing wrong like i said with anger it is an emotion as part of how we can also navigate some of the um, challenges that we have within ourselves that needs to be worked on that needs to be released um, and even working on repairing situations or relationships with other people so again this is a an inward journey it's also reflecting on our outwardly actions and know that yes everything is energy so it does affect those around us and I've been around angry people and it's not fun especially being you know an empath and a sensitive person I can feel everyone's energy very very strong strongly. So I have been in situations and been around people who have, 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 have switched, who have who've been triggered. Um, and it's been very difficult to be around, right? So we can all feel each other's energy and it goes outwardly and, but it also most importantly goes inwardly and we have to take care of our body and anger does cause inflammation within our body. So it can heat up our energy within. So as soon as you feel anger, if you are feeling it within, let it go, breathe out, try not to feed into it, try not to live in it too long and try not to let it override your experience, your life experience and your reality, because our emotions can shift our perspective of reality or perceptions. So remember, love at the end of the day heals, forgiveness is hugely powerful. So any kind of forgiveness, um, prayers or forgiveness uh, techniques that you can incorporate to release hatred or anger towards a person or towards life or towards a situation or even towards self, let it go and forgive and feed it with love, feed it with love. This is all about compassion. It's all around healing through love and letting 
things go, you know, coming to terms with certain situations, it will set you free. All right, so I hope this video found you when you need it the most and look for my anger podcast. I'm going to leave a link below as well when I go where I go deeper into the discussion around anger, where it comes from, how to resolve some more techniques and some additional guidance for your transformative journey and beyond. Until next time, I'm wishing you all the best and take care.